Hi, I'm Bob, the product manager for Brother QL Label Printers. Today we're going to talk to you about the standalone operation on the Brother QL820 NWB printer. With this printer we can download P-Touch templates and attach them to an Excel database and be able to download them into the printer and allow it to use the menu keys and also a standalone scanner to, that can connect to the printer to show you how you can automatically print labels in standalone mode on the printer. So first we'll go through how to create a P-Touch template and attach an Excel file to it to look up for the, the print the data. So first here I have a, a blank new label here. And we're going to then go in to the label and go to database and we're going to connect. And then we're going to look for the file that I had created. And then we have a little database here that has a, a UPC code, uh, type of fruit, where it was, uh, product was origined, and a description, a price, and a unit of measure. So what we're going to do is just, uh, I'll quickly show you here, we can drag up the header part here into the label, and then we tell it what type, so barcode, and then basically that makes a barcode here. And then we can drag up the type header as well and put that into the thing as text. And we can always resize these. I'm going to just quickly do this one. I already pre made a label with all this information on it uh, in a better design. So we'll just quickly show how this uh, gets put on here. Drag this on up again as text. Again here, we can change the text. We can change all any of this information. Uh, we can also change it on the uh, the color of these. So that's how you would create and link the database to the label template. And then I'm going to jump over now to the actual label template that I had previously made. So we can see here we have the. Uh, information here, the product, the price, uh, whether it's by pound or by each, and the UPC barcode which pulls from the data down on the bottom down here. What we do now is we actually come now that we have this template already set up and we want to send it down to the printer. We go to file, we go to template transfer and we click the transfer button. We click yes through those. and now the P-Touch template application transfer manager will come up. It'll show us an example of how the label looks on the bottom down here. And then once we click this transfer button, it will download that information into the printer. And then now the, that information resides on the printer. And then next part will show you how exactly it works in standalone mode through the menu and how we can also use the scanner to do that. The one last thing you need to do is now that that's already downloaded is just set up the printer of how to search for that data. So we use the printer setup tool. We select this and then we select in the P-Touch template settings. We click on this here to open that up and we just make sure the comma, the data delimiter is a set for a comma and then all the other print information is just what commands we want to use to be able to print. So normally it's a caret F capital FF. All the rest of this information is uh, standard and fine. You can modify it as you as you do need. And then we are going to set that and this will download that information down to the printer. And then we're all set to use the printer in the standalone mode. So now that we've downloaded all the information and we've put that into the printer. We are now going to step directly to the printer by itself in standalone mode and be able to show you how using the menu keys to be able to print those labels. So first we go into settings, we go to template settings, we go into template mode and we turn on the template mode by just pressing OK. Then we move back, 
and now you'll see that the main screen has changed and we actually have the templates loaded on there and then what we're going to do now that we have that we have we can click on the template that we want to use and then we can scroll through the records that we have here of which ones to print once we click on a record it will come into this main screen here here we can use the menu keys to scroll down we can press it again and then we get on to the actual uh, record there if we want to view it in detail we can press the OK button and then we see that okay here's the information that that record contains so it contains plums they were made in the USA they're 69 cents a pound if we want a sample print of the label, we simply press the menu key till we get to the preview icon there, and then we press the OK button, and then it will generate a sample printed label using the LCD screen to show you what it would look like. Once we're OK with that, it will move over to the number of copies that you want to print. Here you can increase the number of copies that you want. It defaults to number one. We press the OK button and then it will print out our label based on the selection that we made. So again, if we go in to this and we select a different record, we can go to there and we can print the different record out. In order to simplify the process of printing the label, instead of using the menu on the printer itself, we can actually uh, have a hook up a barcode scanner. The brother one here is the PABR001 if you would like to order that from brother. What we have here is we have a sheet that already has some of the codes in it to initialize and clear out any of the data that was in the printer. Then we also have the barcodes of the uh, Excel records that we downloaded into the machine that we can scan and it will search for those in the, the printer. Then the last part is the actual print command so that we saw on the printer settings where we have the caret capital FFF that is uh, this barcode here which has that information on it. So what we can do is we can take the barcode scanner, scan just the barcode itself, then scan the product code that we want, and then we scan the start printing and then that will search out pull out the record and it will print the label that that's there so if we did that again we picked a different barcode and we started printing we would get a different record in that bananas so this makes it a lot easier to obviously just scan a printer it will automatically look it up the tables and then print out the label that you need we're going to show you how you can also print time and date labels directly out of the label printer in standalone mode. So first you're going to go to the menu button and we're going to turn on the preset templates. So we go to template mode, turn it on, and then we also make sure that on the bottom down here where it says preset templates that that is set to show. And then when we go back we see that there is a there are three predefined templates already inside the machine by the fa factory default. We can also download them from, we can also add time and date from Ptouch Editor in the templates when we download those to the machine as well. But this is just a simple way to get a time and date label quickly out of the machine. So here we're going to pick the P3 for template number three, which is time and date. We'll click the OK button. It tells us here also that it uses the 1.1 by 3.5 label, which is the standard address label, DK1201. If we just click this, then how many copies do we want? We click OK. Out comes our label. And then basically right there is the date and time, matching the date and time that the printer actually has on itself. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us at brother.com.